One out of every five high school students currently vapes in the US, and in the UK, 7% of kids aged 11 to 17 now vape. And that number has nearly doubled in the last two years, so currently more young people vape than smoke cigarettes. But with the news of vape deaths amongst young people, the insane chemical flavoring and lack of regulation amongst new vapes, could science now say that vaping is worse than cigarettes? To start, the nicotine in vapes hits your bloodstream and brain faster than cigarettes. This is because vape Vapes consist of a coil that ranges from 110 degrees Celsius to 1000 degrees Celsius, which creates thermal conditions for a carrier like propylene glycol, which is literally stage smoke. Yes, when you are vaping, you're inhaling like Taylor Swift stage smoke right into your lungs. Mixed with an active ingredient, most commonly nicotine and chemical flavorings, the vape smoke hits your lungs in a way that studies show ushers nicotine faster into your bloodstream and brain than cigarettes. Another study found that the sheer way that people like hit it vapes like so hard, bro. Each puff gives you more nicotine in vapes than in cigarettes. And nicotine is an intense drug. I always say that the hardest drug I did this year at Pride was when I hit someone's vape at a rave and I was ripped. This is because when you vape, the nicotine enters your bloodstream through the lungs where it quickly makes its way to your head and passes through the blood brain barrier to go directly into your brain. Here, the nicotine causes a series of complex biochemical processes to increase dopamine, cause feelings of motivation, awareness, concentration, elevated mood, and other neurochemical processes that will relax your muscles. Nicotine is an interesting drug. It makes you feel mentally aware and alert while physically relaxing you. It's an amazing feeling that people get addicted to. As the nicotine rush ends, cravings begin. And most recent studies show that the cravings appear within four hours of your last nicotine hit. In theory, this whole process is more intense with vapes than cigarettes because vapes have more nicotine in them. Nicotine also alters blood flow in your body, making people with penises lose their penis girth. Yep, a bit of watermelon ice can shrink your dick. One study found that men who use e-cigarettes are more than twice as likely to experience erectile dysfunction compared compared to those who don't vape. 13,000 men aged 20 and older who had daily e-cigarette use were 2.2 times more likely to report having erectile dysfunction compared to men who had never vaped regardless of other risk factors. Because ED is caused by nicotine and there's more nicotine in vaping than cigarettes, in theory, you will get more erectile dysfunction from vaping. Now you also may have heard of the mysterious vaping deaths that as of February 2020 had 2,807 patients hospitalized with severe lung issues from vaping, some of who were under 18 years old, and 68 people ended up dying. What you may not have heard is that these deaths were actually from THC vapes, which are less regulated than nicotine vapes. Some of the THC vapes had a chemical called vitamin E acetate in them, which when inhaled ravaged people's lungs and alveoli, leaving them with symptoms of coughing, wheezing, and chest pain. Doctors were shocked and scared at first, but the general consensus was that mistakenly there was vitamin E acetate ending up in THC vapes, which was killing people. It created a disease called e-cigarette or vaping use associated lung injury, AKA e valley Now the hope is that there obviously isn't vitamin E acetate in THC vapes anymore, but again, e valley the disease was never caused by nicotine vapes. But that doesn't mean there isn't other wild chemicals in these vapes because of the flavoring. The concept of vaping was designed to be tasteless and ugly as a mechanism to help people quit cigarettes. But capitalism came a calling and to expand the vaping market, companies started adding flavorings to make people want to consume vapes more. Cinnamaldehyde, the artificial flavoring that creates cinnamon flavor in food, is now added to vapes to give them a cinnamony taste. But cinnamaldehyde also has been found to make the cilia in your lungs stop working, making it harder for your lungs to get rid of debris and expel pathogens, leaving you more vulnerable to lung infection. 2,5-dimethylpyrin is added to vapes to make them chocolatey, and isoamyl acetate is added to create a banana taste. These chemicals have been found to cause pro-inflammatory effects on the respiratory tract that lead to cancer. A recent study found vape smoke contains benzene and other volatile organic compounds which lead to chronic respiratory conditions. Also, the vaping coils have manganese and zinc in them which you end up inhaling, and this causes airway epithelial injury and tissue hypoxia. Mice chronically exposed to vape aerosols developed lung changes consistent to chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, AKA COPD, the disease that kills 100,000 Americans a year from smoking. But in the 
the end, scientists and physicians agree that cigarettes are still worse than vapes. Cigarettes involve a combustion reaction with tobacco that causes you to inhale tar and other chemicals that ravage the lungs in unbelievable ways. One lung researcher compared smoking cigarettes to putting your mouth over a car exhaust pipe and inhaling. Also, you may not know this, but 1.3 billion people in the world currently smoke cigarettes. One in eight people is a smoker. This is why cigarettes are killing millions of people a year. Cigarettes are a worldwide trend, whereas right now vaping is mostly relegated to Europe, the US, and China. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't be worried because more than ever, young people are vaping who have never even smoked cigarettes. And we do know that there are chemicals in these vapes that can kill you. And even though right now they might not be considered worse than cigarettes, there's still a lot we have to learn because these are a new concept. Scientists will continue to study how vaping affects people's lungs, especially young people's lungs. So if you want more information about vaping, you can click our podcast here. Thanks for watching our video about the insane way that humans have become addicted to getting nicotine into their lungs. Awesome, peace.